Whoa, whoa, hold up. Before you build a website, we have to talk about a few things because if you just go right into it, it might be a complete waste of time. Trust me, I've built many websites. I've done some of them very well. I've done some of them a little rushed without thinking ahead of time. So everything you're about to watch in this video and here is all about how we can set yourself up for success when you get a website up and running. Then I'm gonna point you to a place where you can actually go for free to walk you through exactly how to build your website step-by-step, step, again, for free. Now I wanna tell you a quick story. When I was in high school, for whatever odd reason, all the cool kids started printing little business cards. And yeah, we were all in high school and on the business card was their name and maybe like the sport that they played or whatever. And it was sort of weird to me now that I look back at it because it's like, they didn't have a business. They just wanted to look cool and have a business card. And yeah, because I wanted to be one of the cool kids, I did go to Kinko's and print one of my own and it's like black belt and karate, yay. Anyway, looking back, it was like, why did we need business cards? Because we wanted to look cool. And unfortunately, a lot of people wanna have a website for the same exact reason, because they wanna look like and feel like they have something that they actually don't. So number one, the website is actually not your first step. The first step is to figure out what's the purpose of the website going to be. Now, if you have yet to nail who it is that you're serving, who it is that you wanna to attract to the website, well, that's actually the first step. Determining what niche you wanna get in, because that actually will then influence what gets put on the website, what the name of the website is, the domain name, the logo, all the other fun, fancy things that go on a website, that's gonna be all determined based on who it is that you're serving, why are you showing up, and what's your sort of position in this space. So if you're having some trouble figuring and nailing that down, I would highly recommend checking out my book, Will It Fly? That's gonna help you really nail your niche and absolutely understand who it is that you're gonna be putting this stuff on the internet for because everything else matters after that. Now, number two, let's say you have an idea of who that niche is gonna be already, who it is that you're serving. Well, okay, where do we go from here? Now we start getting into the world of branding, right? What's the name of this brand or business that you have? And what's the website going to be? There's a lot of things to think about here, right? The name supporting the business and being something maybe catchy, but not too catchy that it doesn't make sense. Is it a personal brand? In which case it's gonna be your name. Maybe it's a mix of your name and something else related to the space that you're in. The best thing that you can do is take maybe a whole bunch of post-it notes or just a notepad and start writing down any ideas that you might have related to this. Put all the ideas out there, good ones, bad ones, it doesn't matter. You gotta get them out of your brain so you could deal with them. You might be able to mix and match a few things and then pick or circle a few of the good ones that you think you could consider saying to other people, showing to other people, becoming the domain name. The second thing to think about is, has this name already been used? This is why we wanna try a bunch of different ones because some of those names might be trademarked or already exist on a website. Now it starts to get a little gray when there are variations of what you found that you've seen out there. I think the most important thing you can do is pop in that name to Google and just see who else is maybe using that term or brand. And whether or not they are trademarked or not, it may be worth considering trying a variation or something different so that you're just not matching something else. Now, obviously, if it's in a completely different space, then you might have a little bit more wiggle room. I'm not a lawyer or an attorney, but I would highly recommend you go if you're having trouble finding a name or there's ones that match other names that are similar out there, get some professional to kind of give you some specific advice for your situation. The domain name or the brand name can match the service or the offering or it can be something completely random. I mean, when we all heard Google back in the day, that didn't really mean anything until Google made that thing become what it is. You can use something like, I don't know, ConvertKit, which helps people convert their audience into email subscribers and then customers. So that kind of makes sense. You can use alliteration like PayPal, that often has a nice ring to it. Or you can have something maybe that maybe doesn't mean anything to most until they get in, like Sam Cart, for example. Sam just stands for sales and marketing cart because they help you create carts to sell things online. Smart passive income was chosen because I wanted to teach people how to make passive income, but do it in a smart way that required work and some upfront effort. The biggest thing is that what you choose now, yeah, it could potentially be changed later. So it's not necessarily a permanent decision, although it does feel like one. But the truth is, if you just keep saying, oh, I don't know if it's gonna be this name or this name, well, guess what? Every day that goes by without a website up there helping people is a day that people are finding somebody else and not you. So truth is, you just gotta pick something and go. Yes, I've gotten into trouble before using trademarks. Don't use trademarks. If you can, avoid that at all costs because that's a messy situation. So I've learned just to avoid that completely and try to come up with something that will be memorable and will take a life of its own after you put content and show up on that space. Speaking of content, you're gonna have to come up with the idea of whether or not you're gonna actually 
have a cadence of content on this website. In many cases, you might be starting a podcast or a video channel and your website is there simply to just support it. So it's not necessarily gonna be something where you churn a lot of written content necessarily that's just for written only. Now, in many cases, maybe you do wanna have a blog that has written content that supports the efforts that you're offering to your audience, in which case, yeah, sure, then you wanna learn as much as you can about search engine optimization and have a consistent blogging schedule. Many people have built amazingly successful brands with not video, not audio, but just blogging. Case in point, our good friend James Clear, who wrote the book Atomic Habits, blogger. Crushed it, built an audience there, wrote this best-selling book. He's doing amazing, simply a blogger. Any platform will work, but all these platforms do need a website because another thing your website needs to eventually do is to be able to collect leads. And by collecting leads, I mean collecting email addresses. That's your way of getting people from social media, from all these other places, from your podcast, your video channel, to come back to your website to give you their email. Why would they do that? Because you're gonna offer them some amazing things on the other end, and you might even offer them something up front. That's what we call a lead magnet. We'll have other resources down below for email in case you wanna dive more into email. But very important because that's how you start to actually build an audience that you can control. It's outside the walled gardens of Facebook and Instagram and all those other places because at any moment in time, they can control and affect your reach at any time. Okay, now content. What might you be publishing on your website if in fact you are gonna be publishing content? Well, the easiest thing to do is to write and create content that answers people's questions. The more you do that, the more likely you are not just gonna answer people's questions, but also be found in Google because guess what people are typing into Google? Questions about things related to your topic. Eventually over time, you can start publishing content that maybe showcases some amazing stories that you and or your customers or students have uh, gone through. You might have some abilities or superpowers that you just wanna share with people and you can teach along the way too. But the easiest thing to do is just simply start by answering people's questions. You can find out what questions people are asking by going to a website called answerthepublic.com. Type in the keyword about your topic there. And from there, you'll be able to see all the different kinds of questions people are asking. And guess what? Those are signals for what you can create content about. Finally, you might be wondering, well, how do I actually get started with actually building the website? I know what my brand's gonna be like. I have my domain name picked out, all that kind of stuff, or I'm close to it. How do I actually start, you know, putting rubber to the road? Well, I recommend you check out our free course, Build Your Own Brand. This actually walks you through hand in hand actually how to build a website from your web hosting to getting your domain name to actually building a theme and a blog that actually is customized in a way where you don't need to know coding at all to do. So check out Build Your Own Brand. We'll have links below to that course for you because it's something that actually has helped nearly 38,000 people start websites already. And just remember, it's a work in progress. It doesn't need to be perfect at the start. You can start minimal and build over time. It's something that you can always change. We're always changing our website to uh, improve it. And, and that's something that you should do too. So leave perfection out the window, get it up and running, get it to a point where it's helping people and it's already gonna start working for you. And it's gonna take time before you get results. You're not gonna build a website overnight and make a million dollars tomorrow, but you gotta get started and build your own brand will help you get started with that. So I look forward to seeing you in that course. And again, it's completely free. You can see information on how to get access to that below. And uh, good luck to you. Excited to see your website up on the web. And um, remember, it's all about helping people and answering their questions. It's how you get found. It's how you help people to get people to know, like, and trust you. And then you can offer them services and make money from there.